travel from mortals. We just finished up with the Ghibli Hill of Youth. It's in the Aichi 2005 Expo Park. Um, it's timed entry. It costs us a thousand yen to get in. We had you have to get the tickets on advance. I got a Japanese coworker to help me, but it's I don't know. I'm gonna say underwhelmed might be the right word. It's a two-story wooden structure. You can go inside and uh, they have a lot of hands-on stuff so you can open all the drawers it's set up just like somebody's house from um what was the movie the uh, whisper of the heart yeah Whis yeah it's like the house from whisper of the heart with the the kid that makes the violin mm -hmm. so they got the little violin shop in the bottom can't take any pictures on the inside mm -hmm. so we can't really show you what the inside looked like we probably spent what maybe half an hour mm -hmm. looking through there not it's a it's a stretch to make half an hour so if you come out to the Ghibli uh, theme park and you can't get into Hill of Youth, I would not sweat it too much. You're not leaving a lot on the table if you come here and you can't get into the Hill of Youth. I mean, it's it's kind of it's mediocre. Uh, it's don't get me wrong, the house is really well done, but the effort you got to go through to get the tickets, it's uh, may not be worth it for you. But if if you're already going to be here and you can make the arrangements, it's definitely worth a stop. But uh, Anyway, that's that was kind of our assessment. Was there anything you thought was particularly impressive? Um, I just liked that there was some hands-on stuff that you could open up, cupboards and stuff, which you can't usually do in a Japanese museum. Yeah, most museums you can't like open the drawers, but you could open the drawers. They have a violin you can pick up and play. They got a piano. Mm -hmm. There's a fully stocked fridge. It's got prop food, but I was like opening the fridge and checked out the dishwasher and looked in the cupboard and Sophia was kind of getting nervous because I was getting a little too hands on. Um, but yeah, it's a good scene. It might be worth it. Travel for mortals out. Hang on. All right. So this is the little tent you come in with your time to entry tickets. They want you to come in about a half hour before or after. Um, this little bus stop here. And then this is the little, the little house itself. Uh, you can't go to the top floor, but you can go to the basement. And then they have the little cat house here, the cat house, cat sized house. Um, it's pretty cool. It's done up pretty, pretty good on the inside. <laughs> All right, people are lined up out of this phone booth. So we're, we're going in next. I have no idea what's going on with this. <laughs> what's it saying? You gotta hear. It sounds like a bunch of cats fighting. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me. Wait. All right, I'm listening now. Hang on. Oh, it's like cats hissing. Oh. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's bad. This ain't good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't answer this phone. <laughs> All right, my pro tip here is they, they sell postcards on the inside. If you get a, uh, I think it's 83 yen or 73 yen international postage stamp, you can actually mail some postcards from Hill of Youth. That would be pretty cool. We weren't as prepared. So uh, keep that in mind. Yeah.